Well, hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to another in our series of video chats. Uh, we have um, a really special guest today, um, uh, Peter Nazrecki, um, who is, uh, well, he's among many things. I'll, I'll call him an entomologist. He can expand on that. He, um, but um, one of the really important things, um, and we're really honored to have him, is he is our inaugural Half-Earth project chair. Um, this is our effort to really expand our, our scientific and research connection around the globe. Uh, and Peter uh, works in a very special place in uh, Mozambique, which we're going to talk about in the course of this conversation. Um, hello there, Peter. How are you doing? I'm great, Dennis. Yeah. Good to see you. So, Really good to have you. So just so people know, we're, uh, we've got a little bit of a time difference here. Um, I think you're, you're, you must be five or six hours uh, ahead of us, so it's getting to be dinner time. Um, by yeah, it's, it's dark outside already. Oh, it's yeah. already dark. And, yeah. um, you know, and when, but looks like we have a steady connection, even though you're in a pretty remote, uh, uh, remote uh, place there. Um, but it's really great to, to, to see you. Turns out that this park has a special connection. Can you tell me about this photo, Peter? Sure. Uh, well, that, that's, I, I absolutely love this photo. I just love the expression on, uh, on Ed's face. He, he didn't know we were taking this picture. It was taken with a long glance. He didn't even probably know I was there. He was just <laughs> so happy to be in the field and catching uh, insects. So this was taken during my first visit to Gorongosa. I actually came to Gorongosa uh, for the first time in 19, I'm uh, sorry, in uh, 2012, yep. Ed, uh, Ed Wilson's invitation. Uh, he had been here previously and he was getting ready to come here for the second time. And uh, I was incredibly lucky to be invited to uh, accompany him. And um, uh, while we were here um, in 2012, uh, we took uh, together a trip uh, to uh, the top of Mount Gorongosa, which is uh, an exceptional uh, location. It's, uh, it's the site of the southernmost uh, rainforest in Mozambique. It's full of endemic uh, animals and plants. And uh, uh, we were just uh, absolutely giddy to be able to, uh, uh, to go there and be the first entomologists uh, to collect uh, insects there and collect some, uh, some uh, data. So Ed, of course, the moment he hopped out of the a helicopter that took us to the top of the mountain, started immediately collecting, uh, not, uh, not just ants, although obviously he was very much interested in ants, uh, but just everything. And uh, it was just such a pleasure to, to see him do that. Yeah. And of course, Ed has, uh, has been uh, a, 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 an incredible force uh, in Gorongosa. The, the reason we are having this conversation in the lab uh, named after him is because he's been uh, this um, unwavering supporter of science uh, in Gorongosa and in Mozambique. He's been an inspiration and he was, uh, he's been a, 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 a scientific and, and I dare say a spiritual uh, leader of this entire uh, entire effort. And I, I like to show this photo in talks I give just to tell people, right, you're, you, 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 sh you never have to outgrow collecting bugs, uh, <laughs> being out in nature, take, take your net with you. Um, it's just yeah. so terrific. And like you say, Ed's expression. Here we have where uh, Africa is uh, in, the, in the world. Um, Mozambique um, in Southern Africa has a, has a, has a, has a significant coastline. Um, and then here's where the park is in the, um, situated uh, in, in the country of Mozambique. And then you were just mentioning that you got to go on to Mount Gorongosa. I'm not sure, I hope our audience can see this, but that's that little dot up here. Is that right? That's Mount Gorongosa. Right. Yes. yes. So yes, as, as you mentioned, it is a, a very uh, diverse landscape. Uh, even more than that, uh, we, uh, you, you can safely say that uh, within the boundaries of our park, we have all major ecosystem types uh, known from Africa, with, only with the exception of true desert. 
uh, but we have pretty much everything uh, from you know typical open lowland savanna through uh, uh, woodlands, Nyomba forest, uh, Mopani forest, you know, a, a close canopy forest, true rainforest on Mount Gorongosa, and above that, Afro uh, Afro montane meadows. Uh, so whatever kind of landscape uh, you want, we probably have it in Gorongosa. And uh, just 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 to also add, since you mentioned the the coastline of Mozambique. Uh, we are on our way towards expanding uh, Gorongosa, the, the national park, to include a, a, a coastal reserve. Uh, and so hopefully uh, very soon we will be able to realize our uh, long-term vision uh, for the park and uh, turn it into a mountain to mangrove national park. So we will literally have every conceivable, conceivable uh, terrestrial a landscape that is that, that exists in, in, in Mozambique. So, when we think of Gorongosa and when we talk about Gorongosa, we think of this park as being a park for the people. Uh, we very quickly realized that you cannot do effective conservation if uh, that effort does not benefit people living around this place. So uh, in addition to the you know, strictly biodiversity related work, uh, we are also doing everything that we can to improve the life of people who live around Gorongosa and, uh, you know, and in Mozambique in general. Right. We are trying to protect the biodiversity, but we would like also to include the community to, to help us to, to, to do that. So that's why we, we we engage the community, but we cannot just say them, don't cut the tree, don't uh, protect the biodiversity. Right, we, don't we have, do this, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. We have to give them some opportunity. What I would like to say is um, conservation is educating people because only work together, we can maintain this entire ecosystem. Right. So what, what's happening in Gorongosa is important for the whole, all of Mozambique, all of Africa, but actually for the whole world. We, we're, we're all in this together. It's really good. Yeah.